So in what places on the internet do you find the best free PC games in 2019? In this video, I'm gonna share 6 places to keep an eye on for free AAA games and indie games for PC in 2019. And with that said, let's jump into it. Hey how's it going guys, it's Robin here on Arbian Hardware, bringing you the latest PC tech and hardware. I also do product reviews and even test keyboards and mice once in a while. And so if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming content. Now what is your favorite free to play game right now if you only get to choose one let me know in the comments below now before we jump into it i just want to say that guys i'm not a fan of shady websites offering free in the games and as a sweet little bonus for you visiting the site your computer gets a chunk of malware as a result from it i'm letting you know right now guys there are hundreds of sites out there that clogs up your pc I'm not using any of these sites and I'm not going to recommend them either. And so with that said, let's jump into the list. So now Epic Game Launcher is releasing free to play games every two weeks and this is the home launcher for Fortnite if you've been sleeping under a stone lately and the newly released Epic Game Launcher and Game Store is still a fairly new idea. It's only been around for a couple of days as I post in this video and right now at this moment you can pick up Subnautica for free. I'm gonna use this as an example here guys so as soon as Epic drops new games which will happen every two weeks simply add the game to your cart and check out and after that the game is yours to keep now keep in mind guys that the games will only be available for a limited time only for example subnautica will only be available for two weeks in total and so you want to make sure you grab the game as soon as it becomes available again new games are gonna be given away every two weeks during whole 2019 and so definitely you don't want to miss this out because uh, this is going to be a huge collection of games that you can pick up totally for free now moving on we got a site called game sessions.com and the and, and these guys are having a giveaway every every now and then where they give away games for free that the only catch here is that in order for you to claim uh, the actual game you have to play it for at least five minutes and this is simply a way for them to report to the game developer how many players that have actually played the game so as opposed in this video they are giving away sniper elite 3 for free so definitely head over to gamesessions.com and grab your free copy steam also has a bunch of free games if you didn't know that, you probably knew this already. And some of the biggest one include Path of Exile, we got Warframe, whereas the most recent one is probably Counter-Strike Global Offensive who went free to play a few days ago. Now other games includes, as I said, Path of Exile, Warframe, and we got Dota as well. I highly recommend looking into Path of Exile if you're a fan of Diablo. CSGO most recent update includes something called Danger Zone, uh, which I quite honestly think is a great fresh addition to the traditional T versus CT and deathmatch kind of game style right now at this moment it feels a bit unbalanced but uh, yeah we should expect to see many updates coming in the following week so definitely don't give up on danger zone just yet guys by the way if you have tried danger zone let me know your thoughts down below discord has grown exponentially since launch and today it's not just another community software the platform offers games in the game store as well and several of them can actually be played for free including the probably the most popular game right now on the discord game store which is called minion master this game is 100 free to play Whereas there are other games which require something called Nitro, which is a $10 monthly subscription service. But this is not needed for several of the games in their game store. And more and more games are being added here as well all the time. So definitely have a look at the Discord game store. Moving on, we got CD Projects, a red version of Steam, I guess, which is called GOG. And GOG.com is a digital distribution platform with a curated selection of games a you buy it and you own it philosophy and utmost care about consumers now GOG has a great bunch of free games available where most of them being in the games unlike Steam who also offers AAA games now regardless GOG is definitely worth looking into guys and with that said let's move on to Battle.net and this is the game launcher and home of Blizzard games this is where you find World of Warcraft 
Warcraft, we got Warcraft Reforged, we got Destiny, Black Ops 4 of course and many more. Free games here include the highly popular card game called Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm and once in a while Blizzard is also giving away additional games here for free. For example a few months back they gave away Destiny 2 completely for free so I highly recommend you guys to create an account here if you don't have one already to be able to claim free gifts sent to you by Blizzard whenever they feel the urge to share free stuff again. So despite selling operating systems and Xbox controllers, Microsoft is also selling a service called Game Pass. This is probably the most valuable game subscription that you can get right now in my opinion. This is this one whoever costs you a bit of money, more specifically $10 a month, but for the first month you can try this out for just $1 or you can simply try it out for 14 days for free as well. This service offers tons of value and the only reason why I decided to include it on the list even though it is not entirely free is because of the huge collection of AAA games that this service offers. Now new games are being added here every month and many of the games work for both PC and Xbox as well. So even though this service is called the Xbox Game Pass it's funny how many games that actually work here for PC and as opposed in this video there are a total of 20 games with play anywhere support that works on PC and Xbox. I left the link to the service down below where you can simply try it out for a month if you want to see if it's something you might be interested in. You can obviously cancel at any time if you feel like. Like games here includes Forza Horizon 4, we got Gears of War 4, we got Sea of Thief and we got many many more. But again this service really shines the most if you own an Xbox One console as well where you get access to a catalog of over 100 games including Pro Evolution Soccer 19, we got PUBG, Quantum Break, Metro 2033, uh, Redux, Wolfenstein New Order, we got Doom, Mortal Kombat X and many many more. Again guys, I only recommend this service if you have an Xbox as well. This is when Game Pass shines the most. Now new games are being added to the Game Pass catalog just about every week and, and again the service is a monthly subscription and after the one month trial is over you pay $9.99 every month for as long as you want to keep it. Guys that's it. That are all the places I personally look for for free stuff and I figured why not make a video and share it with you guys. Now, I want to know guys what is your favorite free to play game right now. I've been stuck in both Warframe and Fortnite, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I'm gonna be back with a brand new video in just a day. Until then, have an awesome day, right?